Okay, now we want to take a look at the Windows taskbar uh, that runs across the bottom of the screen. Um, so first we'll right click and uh, by default we have the taskbar locked here which means it won't move around so I'm going to uncheck that and then we should be able to grab the taskbar and move it uh, to the different sides of the screen so now uh, if we want we can run the taskbar from the left side uh, we can uh, uh, resize it um, put it at the top uh, of the screen or we can put it over uh, to the right side of the screen uh, and work with it here so uh, just diff different ways of uh, customizing depend depending on where you want um, that location to be uh, you can position it where you want it uh, so the other stuff we want to look at uh, there's a different way of moving it around the screen so I'll, I'll right click and we're going to click on taskbar settings and if you're following old instructions, uh, the taskbar settings may be at, listed as properties. So let's flash back uh, to the original Windows 10. And if we went, so this is actually another version of it here that I edited in. Uh, notice the search, the web and windows bars. That kind of gives you uh, a hint that this is an, uh, one of the original versions. Uh, but we right click and it's a little bit different look here, but there it used to be called properties. Uh, and we had some properties we could set there uh, in the current version uh, when you right click it's uh, taskbar settings and this is what comes up and so we're going to scroll down a little bit on this and you can see taskbar location on the screen uh, is here and it's it's defaulted to the bottom but as we switch it to right uh, it changes it uh, to wherever we tell it uh, so a different way to to uh, change the location of the taskbar. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, right back at the bottom. And then we'll look at uh, resizing uh, the taskbar, which I, I accidentally did er earlier, so it's, it's a little easy to do. Uh, you just drag it uh, up like that, and I'll drag it back down to resize it smaller. Um, if we look back at the, the taskbar, uh, there's some other options here. Uh, that we can try out like use small taskbar buttons if we if we put that on notice uh, the size of the buttons change and it kind of uh, saves some room so if we have a lot of stuff on the menu here um, we could turn that on I'm going to turn that back off um, we might need some more room down here if we were pinning lots of applications to the uh, taskbar so let me type in the word calculator and once we get that I'm going to right click um, and I'm going to pin it to the taskbar by clicking here. And so by default, uh, it will appear on the taskbar. So instead of going to the, the menu now, the start menu, I can actually run calculator uh, from uh, the taskbar like that. Uh, as it's open, we can see um, it here. And actually, if I minimize it and then click on it again off the taskbar, I can maximize it and, and see uh, what's going on there. And one other uh, thing on the settings, um, so I'll, I'll click on settings again and bring it here. Uh, as, we, as we look at this, uh, we have the peak to preview um, and that shows whether when we move our mouse uh, to the end of the taskbar down here, this area by default, so the peak is off, so if I hover over it, nothing's gonna happen. And if, if you remember, if I click on it, it shows me the desktop uh, cleared off and then if I click in that space again it puts it back. Um, kind of another option there is to turn peak on which means if I just hover over it, not clicking, but if I just hover over that area uh, it will show me uh, kind of a see-through view of the, the desktop. You can still see the two windows but I can also see what's on the desktop and as I move the mouse away uh, it makes them opaque again so you can see. Um, so that's, I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off again, um, but there's a few ways you can uh, customize uh, your taskbar, uh, and you can look at, there's a few other settings here you can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close calculator, and, I, and uh, you can also unpin it, so if I don't want calculator on the taskbar, I, I can right click and click this unpin from taskbar, 
uh, and now it's back on the, the start menu, uh, but removed from the taskbar. So a couple of ways we can customize the taskbar in Windows 10.